When I was a young girl, I was in a severe car accident. And I was told at the time the reason why I survived it after the car flipped was because it was a Volvo. In 2008, Volvo launched its first city safety system. The advanced built-in camera is now capable of detecting pedestrians, cyclists, other cars, and even large animals. If an accident is about to happen, the system kicks in and brakes automatically. To celebrate the people the system is designed to protect, we put the new XC60 in the hands of a world-famous photographer. My name is Barbara Davidson, and I am a photojournalist, and I am a three-time Pulitzer Prize-winning photographer. I've covered wars, I've covered natural disasters, I've covered a lot of gang violence in Los Angeles. When I was first contacted about the project and invited to collaborate with Volvo, I didn't completely understand the concept myself until I was sent some video and I saw it. And it's incredible that you can pull images off of video clips from a car safety camera. So if we can have you come on the left side, walking down as opposed to coming in through the right side. I'm really using the car as a camera and I'm framing it as I would frame with my 35mm camera. So it's very similar to how I would work as a photojournalist, oddly. We have development cars driving all around the world and that's in order to teach the camera what it sees. So the more the camera sees, the more it learns. Maybe the other woman here, she's pretty good. Let's use her. Let's do that again. Just try for that young woman that she has. At the end of the day, it's about good storytelling. It's about connecting to the people who's looking at the work. But through art, we're connecting them through really important technology that saves lives. And I think we're bringing the technical world and the artistic world together. as a photojournalist who has covered a lot of war, I've learned to not take anything for granted and I've learned to appreciate every moment of life because it can be taken away from us in a split second. 